hard to me. I wasn't feeling too much uh, self-worth and I wanted to try and, I guess, boost those by teaching other people how to play the game. I Estou vindo visitar um amigo que eu nunca vi pessoalmente, que é tão importante para mim. Hey guys, Rush up here. Just doing a quick announcement video for those of you going to the Worlds in London, the quarterfinals. I will be there uh, on the Friday at 4 pm, which is an hour before the games start. I'll be doing a little meetup outside the event. Just walk up to me, come say hi to me. Uh, you can My name is Dan Wyatt. People better know me on the internet as Foxdrop. Currently, I'm sitting at around 500,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 100,000 on Twitch. So the actual like process of making videos isn't my strong suit. I'm more like a online teacher almost. Although this strategy definitely won't work if your top laner doesn't have teleport. Right now I really only have like the online presence. My real life is, is kind of difficult, honestly. You won't notice if, if, I'm, if I'm really going through something. Me, I'll give you one of these sexy Fox Shop badges, one of these pins, which you can wear with great honor. It's something I feel inside, but it's also something that I, I try to hide. Uh, I remember the sense of futility that uh, really was resonating with me when, when my grand died. As soon as my parents divorced, my grand just took over like the, the motherly duties almost. She really just became like a surrogate mum when her uh, actual mum left. This is the only picture I, I think I can find. I was really close to my grand. She was, she was the most benevolent, lovely woman. I was 16 at the time. Uh, she started complaining that she was cold and uh, she said she wasn't feeling so great, so we took her to the hospital. And then the following week, she had passed away from leukemia. Because it was like we lost our mum at 17, 18, like neither of us really knew how to deal with it. About a month after she died, I moved off to university, and um, suddenly, you know, instead of us being this pair that were always together dealing with it, we kind of had to deal with it on our own. So he lapsed into this illness. That's where it really started. I was sitting chilling at the computer, and then suddenly I felt really, really ill. Like I was just going to throw up or something. I would get very paranoid that that might happen. I would retreat from those things. I would draw these like negative associations from, okay, I was in town when I started feeling sick, therefore let's avoid town because that might make me feel sick. Then I developed like, these really bad problems where I was just hiding from the world and it just got really out of control. I, I was in bed for like four months, almost half a year. I just didn't get out of bed. I, it was, I was always just asking myself like, what's the point? Stop seeing my friends, stop playing sports. I dropped out of school. And it was a really, really dark place for me because I was terrified of, of everything. I want to go to Worlds, I want to see all the, all the viewers and thank all the people that watch my videos, but the build up to the actual event itself, the times where I just want to curl up into a ball and, and hide from the world. You know, if I try to logically explain it, I'm probably not going to convince you very well because, well, anxiety isn't a logical thing, right? But I'm sharing a room with my brother and there's always that reassurance where it doesn't really matter what we do because we'll just be hanging out together. I don't have to plan things, I don't have to worry about who I'm spending time with because I'm not going to be on my own because I'm going to be with him. Originally Josh was meant to come with us but he's not feeling so good today. But him not being here is a little bit of a Sparrow in the works, and it's a little uh, out of the blue. 
nobody really knows how bad it actually is. Like sometimes when he'll wake up in the morning and he'll just feel wrecked, so he'll spend all day in bed. Like he could easily sleep for like 22 hours, be up for like three, and then go back to bed. But the reason he does it is for them. He wants to see the viewers. Oh, God. I was okay coming up here and the preparation was usually the hardest part. But ever since I've been here, I've just wanted to go home. I set my alarm at the crack of 3.30 p.m. I figured the later I wake up, the closer it will be to the meet and uh, the less time I'll spend worrying about what might happen or what might not happen and all that crap. But the funny thing is that when I'm actually thrown into those situations that I worry so much about, I can handle myself just fine. And I know I can. YouTube and creating stuff about League of Legends. And this was the first thing where he was so motivated, he kind of took his mind off it. Like he wasn't there feeling sorry for himself. He was actually thinking, I need to play to get better. I need to make a video, I need to get footage. And it was really nice to see him have a focus again. And that's really what started to help him get a lot better. I wasn't feeling too much uh, self-worth. And I wanted to try and, I guess, boost those by teaching other people how to play the game. The viewers never really understand what they've done for me or how they've impacted me. And not only have they given me a really magical and surreal way of life, but they're also the sword that I use to battle the demons that I still face. You're playing Blitz and Graphics is playing Lee. I was playing Jinx. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. Tomorrow, I'm doing a Kench video. As cliche as it sounds, they are the bones of everything that I do. It's really, really humbling to have so many people who not only care about the work you make, but also you and your well-being as a person. The motivation to, to really give these guys the best kind of thought shot that I can, it's, it's huge for me. PC방은 친구랑 놀수 있는 공간이 그냥 취미 생활의 쉼터죠. 뭐. 집 같은 그런 존재입니다. 라면을 잘 끓이는 거. 최고의 데이트 장소. <웃음> <웃음> 삶의 활력수를 불어넣어주고 화합의 장이라는. 옆에 친구들 하는 거 보면 어떤 생각 들어? 음, 어쩔 땐 잘하고 어쩔 땐 못해. 다른 PC 형도 많긴 많는데 집 가기에는 좀 아쉬우니까 게임하러 왔습니다. 뭐 학교에서 많은 공부도 하고 막 머리도 아프고 잠시 친구들이랑 같이 모여가지고 게임도 하면서. 집에 사면 이제 PC방보다 이제 어, 속도가 좀 느리잖아요. PC방에 사면 자신이 원하는 라인에 더 빨리 갈 수도 있고 트롤 행위도 안할 수도 있고 이제 그렇게 하면 이제 기분 좋게 할 수가 있잖아요. 이게 내가 행복할 때 하는 표정이다. 집에서 롤하다가 소리 지르면 엄마한테 맞아서 조용히 안 해요. 어, 엄마 미안해 하다가 그냥 이렇게 탁 맞으면 아 빨리 안 자냐. 공부 좀 해라. 아, 진짜 짜증나. 조용히 하라고, 조용히! 아 <웃음> 이게 내가 화났을 때 하는 표정이다. PC방 오면 은 게임도 하지만 뭐 먹을 것도 많이 먹잖아요. 네. 주로 뭘 제일 많이 먹어요? 여기서 웬만하면 비싸게 돼도 라면 같은 걸 시켜 먹죠. 라면 하나 이렇게 딱 끓이면 또 냄새, 냄새가 좋기 때문에 옆에 있는 친구들이 하나씩 다 사먹기 때문에 라면을 한 번에 몇 개까지 먹어본 적 있어요? 어... 먹기가 편해서 손에도 안 먹고 
두세 개 먹는 것 같아요. 주로 새우볶음밥이나 아니면 그냥 라면 많이 먹어요. 그러니까 이제 외방 나와서 남자친구가 제가 왔어요 보려고. 예 오늘도 동기들이랑 같이 와서 이제 같이 롤하고 있었어요. 여자친구 오기 전까지. 예. 아 그러면 여자친구분이랑 게임할 때랑 이제 부대 사람들이랑 친구들이랑 게임할 때 어, 어떨 때가 더 언제가 더 나으세요? 어떨 때가 아까 보니까 옆에 여자친구분 맞으시죠? 네네. 네. 같은 팀에서 하시면 어때요? 못해요. 너무 못해요. 네, 더 재밌는지. 아, 그건 뭐 당연히 여자친구랑 할 때가 더 재밌죠, 당연히. 이게 내 펜타키를 했을 때 표정이다. 선생님들이 이제 롤 많이 하니까 같이 계속 막 공기임 내 보면서 막롤 하고 싶다고 막 이러다가 와가지고 거의 찾아서 볼 정도로 많이 봐요. 안에 있으면은 막. 분기 바짝 들어서 있는데 그 플래티넘에가 마스터 일을 했는데 아 이제 플래티넘 마이는 좀 다르겠구나 싶어서 기대를 많이 했었는데 여기 나오면 이제 다 같이 편하게 있고 말도 편하게 하고 그 친구가 의외로 제일 못해가지고 이겼어요? 졌어요? 졌어요 이게 나의 자신 있는 표정이다 여기가 뭔가 컴퓨터가 좋은 건잘 모르겠는데 같이 하기도 좋고 그래가지고 하려고 여기 오는 <웃음> 오예 L? 오 L. <웃음> 그 친구는 그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그친구그
vamos jogar, vamos, vamos ser bons, vamos ser conhecidos. Então esse era um sonho que a gente tinha. É, eu espero que de alguma maneira isso ajude a, a realizar esse sonho para ele. A importância de eu ir lá falar com ele pessoalmente é porque eu sei que ele nunca mais vai estar online. Então é o único meio que sobrou de conversar com ele. O seu lixo, doente, demente, palhaço, retardado, idiota. <risos> Cadê o ser? Eu já sinto que a gente. Eu sinto como se a gente já se conhece, conhecesse esse. Como se a gente não precisasse realmente desse. Oi. Essa trajetória era, era supostamente para eu pensar em me preparar para tudo que fosse acontecer aqui. A importância de vir aqui é mais pelo fato de, de não poder estar aqui, estar aqui para mim. O Vitor sofreu um acidente voltando do trabalho. É, ele sofreu um acidente de moto e veio a falecer depois disso. Eu quero estar lá. É óbvio que conhecer a família dele, conhecer onde é que ele vive, viveu. Prazer, Vinícius. Tudo bom? Tudo bem, Vinícius? Senta aí. Viu? Tá ligado? Fica à vontade. Zendo, pra nós, pode ficar tranquilo, não, não veio despertar assim, sentimentos pra gente ficar triste. Veio despertar sentimentos de alegria, pra saber que esse mundo aí, ele tem conserto. Ele tem, né, existe a, a verdadeira amizade. Você quer ver onde, que você, onde ele ficava Caramba. conversando com você? <risos> vem cá, vem aqui. Ele ficava na tempera. Ficava na tempera aqui. Na verdade, é um sentimento que parece como se ele já soubesse que, que isso talvez fosse acontecer e que ele sabia que eu, que eu ia estar aqui. Tá, tá tudo no plano dele, que, que ele, de alguma maneira está feliz com isso, que tá, tá dando certo. Eu acho que eu sempre vou manter isso, parte dele comigo. Que é engraçado aqui. Que eu não vou ter aquele cara mais pra me divertir tanto jogando quanto, quanto que eu tinha ele. Porque, porque eu podia contar com ele com, com tudo, tanto dentro do jogo, tanto fora do jogo. Esse cara não, não vai estar mais aí. que essa viagem tá, tá me trazendo de... É, eu vou levar para sempre.